Good day! In this video, we are going to show you the proof that 1 plus 1 equals to 3. Of course, this is not correct and I want you to point out the mistake that I made along the way. So we are going to start the proof where 1 equals to 1. We agree that 1 equals to 1, right? Okay, so we, we're going to change 1 equals to 1 to another form. So 1 equals to 1, we're going to change it to 41 minus 40. That will be equals to 61 minus 60. There's no argument. 41 minus 40 is the same as 1. 61 minus 60 is the same as 1. Okay, now we're going to simplify the number 41 and 61. 41 is the same as 16 plus 25. That will be equal to 41 and we still minus 40. And then 61 is going to be 36 plus 25 minus 60. So 16 plus 25 is 41. 41 minus 40, the same number. Then 61 is broken down into 36 plus 25 and we still minus the 60. Great. Now we are going to simplify that. 16 is the same as 4 squared. 25 is 5 squared. 40 is actually 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5, okay? And 36 is the same as 6 squared. 25 is 5 squared. And 60 is 2 times 6 times 5, okay? Before we proceed, we are going to back our to algebra class. I'm going to write up here, okay? X minus Y squared is the same as X squared plus y squared minus 2xy. This is a level 1, level 2 algebra. So x minus y squared is the same as x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. So that number there is exactly x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Okay? So that becomes the next number is going to be so 4 minus 5 squared. So x minus y squared equals to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Okay. On the other hand, on the right hand side, it's going to be 6 minus y squared because 6 is the x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. So that is how we get it. Okay. 4 minus 5 squared equals to 6 minus 5 squared. So because the squared are the same, okay, we can cancel them out. Okay. So we are going to left with 4 minus 5 equals to 6 minus 5. Okay, getting more interesting now. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. Okay, so that becomes 4 minus 5 plus 5 equals 0. 6 minus 5 plus 5, that becomes 6. Okay, so now we are going to simplify. 4 equals to 6 means 2 equals to 3. And 2 is the same as 1 plus 1. And that is equal to 3. That's what we prove. So we have proof. Okay, proof that 1 plus 1 equals to 3. As I said before at the start of the video, there is some error made in the assumption. If you can point out that mistake, let me know. Write down in the comment section and hope you enjoy this video. Cheers everyone and have a good day.